Martini tells me he's not believing anything coming from investigators because he says all he heard during his trial were lies. He says for all he knows, Jamie could still be alive. They told the grand jury she was dead, then they told the jury she was alive. Rick Valentini says he doesn't know what happened to his ex-girlfriend, Jamie Liety. I have no clue. All I can tell you is, is that I've never killed anyone in my life. Rick, serving time for Jamie's murder, claims she vanished after going to Denver for a job interview. Calls from Denver, he says, were logged on his phone, but never submitted for evidence. The only person in that city who would have known my cell phone number would have been Jamie. Friends say Jamie disappeared soon after breaking up with Rick, who was financially dependent on her, unwilling to hold a job. The only reason that we agreed to move in together, it, it just saved money. When he didn't hear from Jamie in weeks, Rick says he wasn't thinking she was gone for good. I think she's running away from her father. That was the whole point of going to the University of Michigan to begin with. Rick met Jamie through a University of Michigan alumni group. Turns out he didn't have any ties to the school. You don't actually have to graduate from Michigan to be in the alumni club. What about the diploma, the forged diploma? That, that was a gag gift from a friend. He was also going by a different name when he met Jamie. My mother had lied on the birth certificate. Where did the name Brian Stewart, where did that come from? I chose that name. Painted as a con man with a criminal record, a controlling sociopath, Rick says the truth will come out. I am fighting this with every ounce of my being.